Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Mila and today's video is going to be very simple. It's basically going to be on the background you see behind me. Now, I've already done a video like this. It was my attempt at a concrete and foam background and I basically did the same thing. And really the purpose is just to show you how I did the background for this particular enclosure because I want to show you how to do this enclosure from start to finish and so I felt like it was only right to include the background tutorial in that even though I've already done a tutorial similar. Um, the one thing I will say about this background that I've noticed is that this time I kind of only used like mostly hot glue, silicone, and concrete and the thing with the concrete that I uh, failed to do this time was layer it up. At first I felt like when I did multiple layers of concrete it was unnecessary but I noticed that having such a thin layer of concrete is easy to come off of the foam. I just really wanted this this background build to be cheap, simple, and just straight to the point. And so that's why I use things like hot glue, silicone, and just quick concrete. Um, I didn't want to go all crazy with the materials and with the labor. Um, you could have used spray foam as well, but again, that's more labor intensive than just using, you know, sheets of styrofoam. Anyway, that's a quick introduction to this video. I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, if you do enjoy this video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in my next one. Oops. I think I wrapped it too hard. Alright guys, so it's time to go ahead and get into this build. The way that I'm starting out right now is I am putting the styrofoam sheets in the enclosure. That way I can see how it fits and what I need to shave off. I also need to mark where my shelf is going to hit on the background. That way I can carve out a, a space that is going to fit around my shelf comfortably once the background is in place. I want it to fit snug, but I do not want it to bow like you're seeing here. So I'm just trying to get all those measurements right. Once I've got everything marked, I have my shelf marked here on my pieces. I have my bottom, my top, and my middle pieces uh, straightened out. I'm just gonna mark those and then I'm gonna adhere them all together. Alright guys, so I've tested the fit. I like the way everything is looking. So now what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to reinforce my main boards by adding a second piece of styrofoam to the back of it. That way it's, a, it's thicker and hopefully it's going to hold up a lot better so it's not very flimsy when it's time to uh, go into the enclosure.
So now it's time to add some character to the background. So I am carving out some kind of funky looking 3D pieces that I'm going to stack onto each other. I'm trying to keep the, the design very simplistic. I realize once the plants and everything else is in the enclosure, you can barely see the background anyway. So I'm not trying to go all out with the background. I'm simply carving out some pieces that I'm going to adhere together. And I am using my styrofoam cutter to do this. This is a godsend. If you can get this device, it is going to make like if you're doing the same setup as me, this is going to make it 10 times easier. It's less mess because it kind of cauterizes it at the same time. So you don't have tons of little styrofoam pieces um, all over your floor. Alright guys, so I want to explain my logic here. I was purposely making my mixture very runny because I wanted it to cover more ground. But what I failed to do was actually go back in with a second layer because that original layer was just way too thin. And what ended up happening is a lot of the concrete uh, was easily chipped, especially when I was installing the background. And so um, unlike my very first one, this one had fewer layers of concrete and it definitely made a difference as far as sticking onto the styrofoam and not chipping or peeling off. So if you're gonna make it runny just to get that first layer, that's fine, but definitely go back and thicken it up with another layer or so.
All right, guys, so I hope you enjoyed the video on this background build. Um, this is part of the series where I am showing you guys how I built this four feet enclosure uh, from top to bottom. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure you check out the other videos in the series and I will see you guys next time. Peace.